previously on X Life. Let you know I want to marry your daughter. It's about time. Dude, I gotta go to Australia in a week. I'm bringing my girl and I'm about to propose to her. Nicole thinks I'm bringing her out there for a BMX event. I'm actually bringing her there to ask her to marry me. Come to I can't do that. It's too much, honey. I'm a mom. I can't leave the kids. It's so hard for me not to say, honey, don't be sad because I'm gonna propose to you when you get there. I can't wait till you get here. I got our whole life figured out as soon as you get here. I can't wait to see what you're talking about. How can everybody else's boyfriend show up on time and you're late? I deserve someone that when they fuck up, they say they're sorry. Where is the wife for? You know, what about me? Like, what do you have me in your life for then? Like, why are we even together? Tonight on X Life. Welcome to Australia, honey. So I'm really excited to see Nicole because I'm gonna ask her to marry me. So I just need a little liquid courage. No, babe, I don't like you on tequila. No, you're not friendly. You gotta realize that at some point this relationship's gotta go somewhere, yeah. you know? Like, what the hell are we doing? Who the yeah. hell are you to tell me if I can go somewhere? Can y'all just kiss and make up? Hell no. So I just arrived in Australia and I'm here to watch Corey in the super important contest that he's been pushing me to come to. I'm really looking forward to just, you know, having time with him and getting to watch him ride. Hi, honey! Hi, my oh. Welcome to Australia, honey. This is great. Right to the bed, honey. Look at your hair. Isn't it nice? I did it for you. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see Nicole because I'm gonna ask her to marry me. I came out to Australia for a tour and a contest, but the contest got canceled, so now I can just focus on um, proposing and making it perfect. We're gonna experience Australia without kids and responsibilities. And yeah, but what about your contest? We have to go to that. That's not about me. Guess what? What? No contest. What do you mean, honey? Yeah, we're just gonna have fun. Ow. So you're not gonna be riding your bike at all? Mm-mm. Really? Nope, just you. Riders. Oh, I'm gonna be riding you. But... Okay. I came all the way out here. He literally begged me to come out and leave the kids for seven days to come watch him ride in this contest. It was so important to him. And then I get here and he tells me there's no contest. Corey never does this, so I don't know what's going on with him. I mean, it's about time. I'm happy. Let's have another baby. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> So Susie set up this whole cooking class for us all to bomb, so I'm definitely not pumped to be going to cooking class, but at the same time, like, I drag Susie to so many things of mine, like, what's, what's me taking time out of my day to go do something for her that's gonna make her happy, so I'm definitely game, I'm cool. <sighs> I'm so over this. Well, I wish you would just apologize. He won't, he'll just ignore me again. So on the way to meet Susie and Twitch, Pierre and I got into a fight in the car because, as usual, he was on his cell phone from the moment we got into the damn car to the moment we pulled up to meet them. It was rude. You know, I just lost my temper in the car and just kind of let him know that I was, you know, I was like, I'm pissed. Well, here it comes. Great. Hi, Pierre. How's it going? Can y'all just kiss and make up? Hell no. Go out of my way to make her happy once again. I don't want to do this goddamn cooking class, and you're screaming at me the whole I way think... here, so whatever. Yeah, it's Anyways. my fault, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right, it's my fault. Sorry, I made, I made a phone call in the car. And like seven couldn't... phone calls in the car, and I was in the middle of talking to you about something, and as usual, three phone calls. and then you decided to call, for some reason, what's his name, right, Miller, whatever. about like, a training session, place? but I don't count because I'm not one of your skateboard friends. Let's have some fun. Let's try okay. and forget about it. I'm not really surprised PLG and Denise pulled up fighting. They're always going back and forth at each other, but that's just them. In front of you, you each have a booklet. Today we're going to do a Ratatouille stuffed chicken breast. So if two of you want to come over here on this side, do we you, can get you going on this kind of boat as well. you want to go on this side? Yeah, I'll go over there. Yeah, I'll go Guys first girls? Girls we're, against yeah. boys. <laughs> I think this so is kind of interesting. I've never seen you chop anything. 
Doesn't mean I can't. I think Jeremy secretly knows how to cook. Look at, he's doing, look at how much quicker he is than Pierre. This is Pierre's <laughs> Um. We're gonna go back into the kitchen and finish it up there. Jeremy, you're impressing me. I don't think you're gonna be able to get away with not cooking at home anymore. I need you to be quiet right now. <laughs> Concentration. I love Susie and Twitch. You can tell how much those two love each other. Jeremy, you put that spicy shit no, in here, didn't. didn't you? I freaking know. I can see it all right here. I want to have a cool relationship like that. Watching them, I guess it makes me wish that I had it too, you know? Mm. This thing is retarded good. That's unbelievable. See, this is the kind of stuff you got to do, Jeremy, to win me over. Don't think it ends just because we're married. You still got to woo me. I know, they don't woo anymore. They just tell you to go fuck yourself when they get on the phone. <laughs> what? Nah, oh, come on, Zinnies. Here we go again. They always argue. That might just be what they like if they're still together at the end of the day. Like, you know, maybe they're just not ready to admit that that's actually what they like. Have you talked to Nicole? All right. No. I haven't heard from anybody. Why can't you ever? I'm so jealous. Jeremy used to tour. have like two tours over there. You know what? If I would go yeah. on tour, you'd be like, you're always on the road. And no, I would go not, with you. Now I'm home. Girls can't go in those tours. It's Who like the you hell have... are you to tell me if I can go somewhere? If I want to go, I'm going. If it's a contest, you can always come. That's definitely mellow So if it's atmosphere. a tour and I want to do stuff, it's like in Australia, don't go. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, look at that, honey. What is that? Oh, that's the bridge. Yeah. That's so pretty. Are you cold? I'm gonna... You can wear my jacket. I'm having a lot of fun with Corey in Australia so far, so it turns out it's actually pretty nice to be able to just spend time with each other, you know, without kids. This is a famous opera house I would never be at unless I met a beautiful woman like yourself to take to. I got the ring in my pocket, romantic, dim lights, Ocean, boats, about to ask her to marry me. I'm nervous. She's got no idea. I'm gonna read you this little letter I made. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Honey. Because when I was on my trip, I had time to think about how lucky I am and kind of who I'm with. And it's just short and it's beautiful. Short? You wrote That's a whole pretty story. big. I he has never taken me to dinner, wrote a note and pulled it out of his pocket. Definitely a little bit out of character for him. It says, me and you have been through so much in our lives. When we were awesome, no couple could come close. But when we were bad to each other, mostly me, we were the worst. But you are the only woman in my life I see, think of, or love when I close my eyes. Thanks, Cage. <laughs> I love you. Oh, my gosh. What I'm trying to say is I can't live another day in this life without showing you how much you really mean to me. Honey, that's really cute. I love you. You know that. I'm ready to propose. Got nervous, so I just need a little liquid courage to uh, get in there. Tequila. Hi. Tequila. Oh, tequila. Is this the menu? Do you like to go to all the appetizers? Okay, thank you. Thanks. Honey, you're not doing tequila. Cheers, baby. No, no, no. You're not drinking tequila. One shot. No, babe, I don't like you on tequila. No, you're not friendly. I don't like it. It's not fun. No, I'm not kidding you. I don't think you understand how quick you change. Corey, look at me right now. If you change or you be mean or anything like that, Baby, I'm here for you. Then you never drink tequila ever again. Shit, Are you man. kidding me? This is rough. How is this rough? You just don't act mean. To you. Or to other people. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it, the biggest moment of my life. Coming up. The devil just came out. Is there one thing? Your eyes get all weird. Something is definitely off. <laughs> oh, wow. I got the ring in my pocket, about to ask her to marry me. I'm nervous. 
tequila. And the devil just came out. You see, it's weird. That's the weirdest thing. Your eyes get all weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, really? Babe, I will cry if you act bad. I will Don't not. cry. I will. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Who are you? Maybe he's excited that I'm in Australia, so he's just being crazy. The kids aren't here, so he can act like a kid. I have no idea. But something is definitely off. Look at you. You're scary. You know what? If it was up to me, I'd be home boning you in a butthole. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at you. You have to cover yeah, you your mouth. That? Yeah, yeah, you did. What an idiot. In my head, I was like, where the hell did that random comment come from, you idiot? The moment was there. The letter was beautiful. I blew it. I knew it. So we shut it down. Oh, no. So, uh, well, what are you planning on getting? Pierre and I, you know, we were arguing all day, but we get over it. We fight, we make up, you know, that's who we are, and that's, that's what we do. I had a good time with Susie and um, Twitch. I mean, but, um, one day it would be nice to maybe have something similar to that. You know, do I you think want... you've been hanging out with Susie a little too much. No, but I mean, she's I... been pushing that baby thing on you. It makes. I mean, I'm 32 years old. It makes me think, like, you know, I'm not exactly getting any younger. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want, we can get to work tonight instead of watching a movie. Can you just be serious all once right. in a while? Okay. Like, when I'm talking to you, like, why does it always have to be that? You'll have a kid with me, but you won't. Put a wedding ring on my finger. Oh, damn. I'm I mean, getting... that, 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 that's, that's what she'll do. I'm getting grilled right now. <laughs> so I know Denise has been wanting to get married for a while. It's kind of hard for me to think about marriage when I was married like three years ago and it only lasted for 18 months. Just give me a little more time, you know? Seriously, <laughs> every time I try to talk to you about something between us, that's what you do. It goes right to that stupid comment because you're so uncomfortable about it. My first marriage was definitely premature and that's why I'm kind of hesitant to get married again. I want to make sure that, you know, my relationship's really stable before, you know, I take that step. What am I, I, know, I just feel like we got enough stuff going on, like, let's save something when, for when we're bored. For when what? What? <laughs> for when we're bored? Yeah. Our life's pretty exciting. Then when our life starts slowing down, we're like, all right, so maybe we should get married. That sounds like some fun to do. You're truly stupid. <laughs> I mean, who the hell says that shit? If you're bored, you go find something to do, go to the movies, I don't know, go on a vacation. I, I, there's a million other things I do when I'm bored. I don't go get married. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So let me ask you this. If we ever do get married, are you gonna buy me a ring like Susie has on her finger? <laughs> Is the prenup gonna guarantee a certain amount of sex that I'm gonna be getting? Let me see the size of the ring and then we'll oh, figure that out later. Simple. You know, married or not, Pierre, Pierre and I really do love each other, and at the end of the day, there's just something about that more, and I just love, you know, and, and I'm an idiot. Thank All right, you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Have a good night. Hey, be careful, honey. I'm you, scared. you are my life. Oh, there oh. you go. So the first night I was going to propose at the Opera House, I blew it, I knew it. So it's a new day in Australia, it's going to be a good day, it's our last day, so I'm going to hit her with it. This is awesome. Round two, here we go. All joking aside, honey, I love you so much. Give me a kiss. I know I act stupid sometimes, and I'm stupid, but I love you more than anything in this world. Your knee. No, I want to apologize Honey, first. Apologize for what? For You're being an idiot. What are you talking about? You've been I idiot. love you. You have to put an idiot. Sit down. Yeah, I love Why you. Why are you on your fucking knees? This is us. That's stupid. Get, Get up. Get up here. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> what are we going to have, like, a nice, quiet, romantic, like, moment without you this screaming? Is Turn it off, Take baby. A Turn it off. Turn it off. Sorry, baby. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Apologize. Just turn it off. I was like, ah. So there goes that one. So that's two. No good. No bueno. Turn it around. We want to go back. Hi. What happened? I'm over it. Coming up. Be honest. If you're over it, let's go. It's cold. You're over it. I'm over it. This is like my last opportunity for it to be perfect. And now I'm thinking that this isn't going to happen. Oh, yes. 
us to run. Warm us up. Really? Really? <laughs> Okay, well, I've blown two opportunities to um, nail it, and I blew them both, so third time, here we come. Third time's a charm. Last chance qualifier. Gotta stick this one. Burr. Look how pretty that is. I am crazy. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this is definitely a romantic spot. Oh, Lord. Sit up here. I know Corey's trying so hard to make sure I have the best time and he's being so romantic and saying nice things to me, but I am so freaking cold right now, I cannot even think straight. This is nice. I love you. I love you. You're the best mommy, best girlfriend, best person, prettiest, hottest chick in the world. Thanks, you put up with all my shit. Are we gonna get knocked out by wave? I don't know. Oh my god. You can't even you can't even hang out for a minute, huh? I mean, the wind's going straight through my sweater. Really? So I'm just so bummed that like and this is like my last opportunity for it to be perfect, and it's so not. My girl's not happy. She's cold. The weather's bad. It's a disaster. And now I'm thinking that this isn't gonna happen. You're over this. I don't know. Be honest. If what you're do you over, want me to do? You want me to skip? You it's cold. Come on, let's jump go. Jump around? What do you want to do? Let's just go. It's, you you're over to, it. I'm over it. Can we climb something? You want no, me to, come on. Want me to, want me to, come on, baby. Want me to jump in the water? What would make you happy, babe? For a change, what would make you happy? What huh? can I do to make you happy? To make me happy. <laughs> Say yes to being my wife for the rest of your life. Honey, this is why you're here. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> this what? is it. This is why you're here, boo boo. To make me happy. <laughs> say yes to being my wife for the rest of your life. Honey, this is why you're here. Are you kidding me right now? No. <laughs> this what? is it. This is why you're here, boo boo. Marry me. Honey, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> Baby. Yes? Of course. What are you doing? Honey. Oh my god, this one. That's your turn. Honey, what the hell? Boom. Honey. I love you. Have you been planning that mm -hmm. this whole time? <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> Like, I don't even, it's the craziest feeling um, to go so many years, you know, wanting this life, and, and now I feel like I'm gonna have it. So, I'm happy, I'm really happy. It's really a good place to be, and I just, I didn't, I didn't know when it was gonna happen, and just the fact that it's happening is, it couldn't be any better of a feeling, and I'm just really excited. I'm excited to start our life together. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Honey. I love you. I want you to be my girl forever. My wife. My We're gonna party. get married? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But you have a ring on your finger, honey. It's about time. Sorry it took so long. I knew I was gonna marry her from the day I laid eyes on her. She's been so beautiful in my eyes. Um, did it, you know? Game over. Bye, ladies. You did you say yes? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Next time on x Y, we're gonna have to do an I engagement party. Do you think that Corey's mom would come to the engagement party? I don't think she's capable of that. I want to give my mom a chance to be part of my life, but with that said, it'd bring a whole shitload of drama. You're acting uh, like you're not taking care of here. So you make it sound like I'm the worst boyfriend. So if he was totally ready and he proposed to you, I'd probably say no. You would say no, Denise. Ma. Who is this? Your son. Right now, the engagement party, I want my mom to be there. No, sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. It'll never change. Just be my supportive mom and come and like, you know, but no. 